What the f Next, I give me five hundred dollars. Good looking explorer truck here. That give me f low, low, low miles. One owner two. About to close. Four wheel drive. Going once. This truck is cheap, cheap, cheap. Going twice. Selling all the way. Selling all the way. New bid increment, $50. Give me $450. $450. Going once. $500. We're going to... Going twice. Sold for $500 to bid array. Alright guys, so it's after the live auction. I bought another car in the live auction. A little uh, ticked off because I was looking at a, another Cutlass Supreme. This one had the later 3.1. It has the head gasket issues. Regardless, I was still interested. So there I was doing my due diligence, making sure the head gasket was good the best I could, checking the coolant reservoir, checking the hoses. And uh, some guy, I didn't even see him bidding on it through a quiet bid like I always do. I thought they were still dropping the price down. Well, he grabbed it for 300 bucks. Would have loved to add that to my collection. Unfortunately, not going to happen. But here we have the Explorer that I bid on this morning. This has the OHV, the old school 4.0. So no chiming chain issues with these. It's a one owner with 80 something thousand miles. I think it's 82 or 83. I got this out the door for $717. I used to sell these down in Florida. I get, you know, I actually do pretty good on them. I had one just like this. They had a hundred, like 140,000 miles, 150, 160, something like that. I sold for two grand. I had a whole bunch of these. I typically sell them around two grand as long as they're in decent shape. This one's got 80,000 miles, has very good service history, mostly dealer service or at the same independent garage. So I feel pretty good about it. I haven't started or anything yet. I just got down here. Had to find it. It was way in the back. And uh, I'm going to hop in there now. I got my hands full, so I'm going to put my stuff down, and I'll turn the camera back on. 81,807 miles. And oil change is still current. This was recently inspected back in October. There we go. Fired right up. I'm hoping I don't find anything wrong with this one. Uh, you know, the only real risk with an Explorer like this, an older one, it's not nearly as high of a risk as the ones that followed. The third gens is the transmission. And I knew it had an ABS light. You know, it's gotta be a, a sensor or something. It's not a big deal at all. But again, I'm just hoping that this thing is good mechanically and I can just send it right down the road. All right, she's all cleaned off. It was actually pretty easy. All the snow came off in like a sheet. So we've got reverse. And out she comes. Just leave her in two wheel drive for now. Uh, I don't know if there's any issues with the four wheel drive or not. So I don't want, oh, it's got auto. Okay. So in that case, it'll kick in if it needs it. It did get out of there, no problem. So my only concern with this one's the transmission. Um, and it looks like it might have been rebuilt because whenever the shift linkage in these is slightly off like that, the shifter, see how the uh, thing is more on the two than drive? It's usually a pretty good sign the transmission's been rebuilt. Not always. The steering on this thing is super tight. Uh, as I always do, I run the car faxes on these cars. And this thing has been impeccably maintained. All new brake lines over the years, ball joints, tie rods. Everything that goes bad in these Explorers in terms of wear and tear, it's already been dealt with. So, as long as she shifts fine, I think it'll be okay. This is a one owner vehicle, so I'm hoping that this guy finally just went out and bought a new car, or maybe he just stopped driving or whatever, and that's why they donated it, and not because there's something wrong with it. Uh, that's usually the way it works with a one owner vehicle. 
you guys see I buy mostly one owner cars and most of the time they're donated just because they bought something new they feel like they got their money's worth out of it they don't want to deal with trading it in or selling it on Craigslist and they just donate it or a lot of times what happens is they'll buy a new car and they're gonna th they think they're gonna keep the old car and it just sits around they never drive it so they donate it uh, the other reason cars get donated is the obvious reason because there's something wrong with them but this one so far so good I'm just gonna pull it out front where I can do a better inspection of uh, everything all right so I'm out here in the Explorer I've only found one issue with it which isn't terrible at all the rear shock on the passenger side the mount has rusted off the way it rusted off the mounts basically still on the rear end but the shock is separate so all I have to do is unbolt the old mount order a new one attach it to the rear shock absorber which I'm gonna have to replace because when it rusted off it got, it got bent um, so long story short it needs a new rear shock mount and a new rear shock otherwise it seems to be fine the transmission shifts beautifully uh, drives nice and tight uh, I'm sure it ride a little bit better with a rear shock absorber but it still rides just fine engines nice and quiet the undercarriage definitely has a lot of surface rust there's no rot aside from that rear shock mount that broke so I think we're in good shape on this one minor repair and it'll be perfectly fine it's still inspected until October which is great uh, anyway guys I'm gonna focus on the road here and I will tune back in when I get home all right so now that it's home let's take a look at the Explorer I'll show you guys everything that I've seen so far the truck is far from perfect but it's definitely hard to find one of these these days with 80,000 miles on it it's a one owner it's got some great tread on it look at those tires like brand new and they're four matching tires Four-wheel drive seems to work. I haven't kicked it in the high or low, but I don't hear any transfer case noise. I think we're in good shape with that. Typical scratches on the side. These will buff right out. This truck's going to clean up real nice, but the body's nice and straight. There's no body rust, no visible body rust, I should say. On the doors, however, down by the bottom, you can see they're a little bit rusty, but they haven't gotten too bad yet. Interior just needs a typical cleaning. It's got these nice rubber mats, which is great. This is a good winter vehicle, and having mats like these is what you want. And they're old Husky liners. Look at that. Those are pretty old. Interior's in great shape. The seats are in nice shape. Headliner's in good shape. Got a spare tire back there. And uh, some light bulbs that came with it, which was interesting. Uh, I might need those for my garage, actually, if they work. I'm assuming they don't. So up front, you can see driver's seat in great shape. No wear on the side bolsters. Door panel in great shape. Mechanically, the truck is solid. Still inspected until October. Everything works. The radio, all the lights. No funny business with this one. So here's the engine bay. It needs a cleaning, but you can see lots of signs of a well-maintained vehicle underneath here. Looks like the wires are new, and I'm sure the coil pack is as well. All the fluids are topped off. The coolant, uh, the oil change we saw was done recently. It looks like we might have a motorcraft battery underneath that cover that i know that this truck has all new brake lines and a brand new master cylinder you can see that right there pretty recent at least not brand new but recent enough and it looks like the power steering was serviced at 71,000 miles and a fuel service as well uh whatever a fuel service entails maybe it was injectors maybe it was just the fuel filter some injector cleaner the hood needs a, a buff to bring back its uh, shine. It definitely still has shine. There's no clear coat damage, just a lot of dirt that's collected up on the hood there. That'll clean right up, no problem. Again, those tires are great tread. Looks like we're missing the center cap for the rear wheel. Not a problem, very easy to get. And the story's pretty much the same on this side. Typical rust in the doors, but there's no body rot no rocker rot there might be some obviously underneath these rocker panel covers it's a typical ford thing they have these plastic covers in the rockers which look real good uh, until you check underneath the vehicle but the key thing is that it is inspected actually the rocker panels look fine 
And you can see the frame has surface rust, definitely a fair amount, but there, I checked very thoroughly. There is no rot in the frame or the body mounts or anything like that. Here is the only issue with the truck, and I just noticed there's a little bit of rust starting back here. So there is some body rust. Not terrible, definitely fixable. It's a very small area, but there is some rust on the less. Got that original dealer sticker on the back. Coming underneath in the back here, this is where the only real issue is with this truck. You can see the rear shock absorber on the passenger side has just totally detached where it mounts. You can see those new brake lines and stuff back here. Uh, looks like there's new hoses for the new brake hoses for the rear calipers as well, at least on that side. New brake line right there. You know, not an uncommon sight to see in a New England vehicle. Uh, lots of rust, but again, there is no rot. Besides this, uh, there's no other rot. This looks like I have to, which is not going to be fun, get these rusty bolts off. Yeah, this, it looks like this, this right here is the old shock mount still attached here. So it broke right in the middle. So obviously I have to remove this shock. Uh, it's no good. And I'm assuming I'll probably just do both because I'm going to buy them in a pair, obviously. Got to remove this shock, get these bolts off, which is going to be real interesting. But once I do, I can remove this broken bottom shock mount, order a new one and the two new shocks, throw them in, new shock mount, bolt it back up, and we should be good to go. Otherwise, it's uh, about what I expected it to be. I obviously wish it was a little r less rusty, but it really isn't that bad for a Ford Explorer. It's been in New England for over 20 years. The miles are low. Mechanically, it is sound, as sound as sound can be. This is a vehicle that if I did want to sell down the road, I don't think I'd have any problem getting $2,000 for up here in this area. It's four wheel drive, it's got low miles. People know these are good, reliable trucks. So that's gonna do it for the Explorer for now. I'll do a video in the future when I get around to fixing that rear shock. Let me know what you think. Keep an eye out for a video on this one in the future when I get that all sorted out. And uh, of course, detail. This truck would look really nice with some wax. Black paint, in good shape, no clear coat issues. Imagine this thing with some wax and polish. Ooh, it'd look real good, it'd look brand new. That's the goal when I have the time. So thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for the next one.